Our last storyboard tutorial is going to show us how to embed a finished storyboard. This is great so if you have a class blog or if you have a class wiki or some sort of other class website, you can actually embed these right on the site so that parents, the students, and others can visit and read these stories at any time. So again, we'll log into our storyboard if you aren't already logged in. This will bring us back to either the student dashboard, in this case I logged in with my dashboard because I'm going to embed a story that I wrote. And if we go down here to, oops, sorry, wrong one. If I go over to you, this will show all of my work that I've done. So over in this section, it will show any published stories that I've done, any unpublished stories. Um, I'm going to embed this one, so I'm just going to click on it. Up here at the top, uh, you'll notice a few different options. One, you'll notice that I made the storyboard public, so others are able to see it. Um, I can simply email it to others. I can embed. If I wanted to, I could buy. So I could buy a PDF file. I could buy an actual published book. Um, but right now, I'm just going to embed. So I'll click on embed here. And it's going to give me a few different options. It will give me the option of embedding the story at different sizes. This one's 586 by 368. That's basically your height and your width. Um, it will also give you options for badges. So this will link to Storybird. Um, but I just want the embed code for my story. Um, now because my site's a little bit smaller in width, I'm going to actually copy the smaller version. Uh, but the great thing about it is that you can actually make these full screen at any time. So I'm just going to highlight and copy. You can also copy it just by clicking Control A and then Control C. Now, the two sites that I mostly use are EduBlogs and Wikispaces. So I'll show you how to embed on these. Um, but of course, if you use Blogger, if you use uh, PBS Works, if you use WordPress, uh, you can simply just embed those in your posts as well. Um, but just to show you on EduBlogs, um, here I've started a new post. My post is going to be about Storybird, so you'll actually be able to see the embedded, uh, the embedded Storybird in, in this post. Um, now you want to make sure that when you do this post that you're in the HTML, uh, because that's going to be what we actually use. All I have to do now is just paste that code that I copied earlier. I can do so by right clicking and going to paste or just by hitting control V on the keyboard and that's actually just going to put that right in there. I'm not going to publish this right now simply just because my post isn't ready to go up um, but again once I finish writing this post and putting this post up you'll be able to see this embedded in there. On the wiki um, if you use wiki spaces for any reason um, I highly recommend it. It's definitely a very useful tool. Um, here, if we just click edit on whatever page it is that you would like to put it on, I'm going to click edit here. What I'm going to do is go down towards the bottom. I want to click on widget. I'm going to go down to other. And again, I'm just going to paste that same exact code that I just had there. And then I'll click on save. If I click on preview, it should show this coming up. And now I have my story bird right on there. I can open it up. I can make it full screen so I can see the whole thing. And I can go through and read my story, or I can just read it while it's smaller as well. Um, if I click on this link here, it will take me to story bird to this book. Um, but in this case, In this case, we are going to just finish up here. Um, I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section, and I will definitely help out. Thank you.